I got some proof that my ex was saying personal things about me and my family to a random person. Definitely hurt my feelings and made me upset. If I would have knew he was gonna be like this, then I would have dated him. So were you not being genuine in the relationship? Or were it, was it just a lie? Or what was it? I know. I'm getting ready to go out tonight, and I thought it would be a perfect time to call Mondo and just catch up with him. Are you having fun? Well, yeah. I need to, well, I'm gonna have more fun tonight because I'm going out to the club in my little makeup bag. It must be nice to the club. I know. You have to come back when you're 18. Dude, they literally do not card. Can you believe they haven't carded me? You know how you're like, oh, they're gonna card you? Nope. But, yeah. anyways, how are you feeling? Are you good? Yeah, I'm feeling better. You know, just keep my mind off things, you know. How's everything over there? It's good. Well, we had Zeke. We went to go mm -hmm. eat and all that. We picked him up from school. You, you can tell Dad was stressing because he was driving all day long, dude. Mm -hmm. But we're all having fun, though. That's good. But, like, you. Like, how are you? You know how we were... Well, you were having some issues. I'm just in a weird mind state right now. For my birthday, I threw a party and... I invited a whole bunch of my friends, and then most of them didn't end up showing up. I realized that I put in effort for other people, and then I don't get the same effort back. Like, I feel like I'm just not good enough, you know what I mean? Armando has been having kind of a, a rough time in his life right now. I feel like he's been going through it a little bit, so I feel like I need to check up on him to see if he feels okay. I'm feeling, like, feeling are you better, feeling better? You know, still on my mind, but you know, I just gotta learn from it, you know? Yeah. You just have to move on, honestly. Just move on, basically. But what about relationships? Who the F are you talking to? I'm not talking to anybody. All right, sure. I'm serious. Surprisingly, I'm not talking to anybody. Okay. He's doing way better, and I'm happy for him because he deserves it. Dude, at the airport, when I just got here, there's like a line. There's like a line of guys like, oh, taxi, taxi, taxi. So they were offering taxis, and one of them was like, boyfriend, do you want a boyfriend? I was like, uh, no. And then this this guy. <laughs> yes, and this guy was like, oh, you want to hook up later in front of mom? And I was like, what? I was like, no, no. Let me find out who that is. I'm on. He's about to catch. You're about to catch a fly over here. A lot of people don't realize like how close we really are, but when I say Armando knows everything about me, like he knows everything about me. Like I literally tell him everything and I do it to build trust and like we just keep that bond strong. It's a good feeling to have someone so close to you actually be close. You gotta be careful out there, dude. I know. So we'll see what happens when we go to the club tonight. Are you guys all going to the club? Well, Mom and Tia Lily, I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know, I, they've been like low-key kind of arguing all day. Why can't you ask me instead of saying, I need you to do it? I don't feel like I need to ask you. Yes, you do, if because you know I'm that always available. Okay. Yeah, they've been doing that lately, you know, like Arizona one, and then she's not showing up to like the modelings and all that. Mm -hmm. They've just been going at it, like throwing like small little yeah, jabs at each pretty, other, you know? Yep. <gasps> We're definitely brother and sister. We just said the same thing. Yeah. Each other, yeah, it sucks because like I was just expecting all of us to go out together, and I don't know. We're just gonna have our missing piece. Even though she's not going, but like, you know, just enjoy it, dude. Yeah, I know. I gotta make the best of it, but I'm just I'm I'm bummed because I really wanted all of us to go out together. I still want to have fun regardless of the situation, so I'm gonna make the best out of it. Most importantly, be safe, and you're legal. I'm a, I'm legal here. But Pata, I low-key wish you were here, I miss you. You have been partying with me out here. Next year, be 18, you already know it's gonna go down. We're coming back. Well, before you go, I wanna say hi to um, Dad and Alina. Hi, Dad! Hey. Hi, Alina! Why, why do you look like you haven't slept in two days? <laughs> I... <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Wait, I... <laughs> Dad, are you proud of me for being legal? 
here partying? Uh, yes or no? At least I'm not doing it illegally. At least over there, right? Yeah. So I'm getting ready right now because I'm going to go to the club later. And I'm going to find myself a man. Uh, okay. Well, whoever goes out, you guys better be careful. Okay. Especially you and we everybody will. else. Though. We will. Thank you for caring, honey. Elena, bye. I miss you, honey. Bye. Bye, Kish. Have fun. Be safe. And be responsible. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Cabo San Locas. I'm here with Lily. I mean, <laughs> what do you want her to be? <laughs> I'm so mad at Lily right now, but you know what? I don't care if she doesn't come because I have little Lily. <laughs> Definitely like special night for me because I wanted to go. It was my first time. We are going to make this night happen with or without you. And it's kind of sad that my dad couldn't come. The party didn't stop, so we're going to go out anyways. We only live once, so let's go. We're sisters tonight, Mom. Don't even get it to Don't listen. even tell anybody that I'm your mother if somebody asks. No, you don't tell. You don't, you've been calling me Nina all week. Okay, so tonight if they're like, oh, who's that lady with the big booty? What are you supposed to say? That's my sister. Why? Hi. One thing for sure is that my mom is not my mom tonight. That's my sister. Tonight, we're wildly now. Ricky's mad at me. Lily's mad at me. I don't care. I don't care. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I really don't know what to expect. Anything can happen. I really don't know like, the people out there, how they act, so I really don't know what we're getting ourselves into tonight. We need another shot. Oh, we should have brought the bottle. I'm gonna work last into a club though. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna bust them all. Yeah, you were gonna make it. It's like I'm coming. Yes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Alright, let's go. My tia came out. She ended up coming out tonight and she was probably crying because she had glasses and she didn't want, she didn't want to be seen, but I give her props for like actually going out there with us and taking one for the team, even though she was probably not in the mood to go, but yeah. The vibes over there are pretty cool. I feel like everybody was there for one reason, it was party. So everybody was on the same boat as me. The go-go dancers, like just seeing them like that's their job, like oh my god, like that's cool. I think I danced for like a couple guys, you know? I don't know. I think there was cute guys there, but a little crazy, so I don't remember. I really couldn't imagine texting one person everywhere I went that night and having them updated like all night. Like it was just a good feeling to just be able to like go and have fun and not having a single worry. Like it was just amazing. Like I love it. I think I went to six clubs. So I was able to let loose tonight and I had no worries because I knew that I had four sisters to take care of. <laughs> I wanted to like kind of talk to you, but like separate from everybody because it's just too much. Well, since I turned 18, I feel like I've been taking my job more serious and I like been seeing like everybody's effort towards it. And I feel like yours has been like not there 100% like filming wise. Like sometimes when we film, it's like you like need to leave or like you can't film or just certain things that I wanted to talk to you about because I feel like now that I'm 18, I like wanna keep doing this obviously for a while and I wanna like see where your like commitment is at. 
kind of. I felt like this was a good time to have like a one-on-one -on -one with my tia Lily. Just to kind of hear her out and see where she's at. It's been um, concerning like as to like why she's been so distant. I want to do this for as long as I can, honestly. Like see where it takes me. Like I just want to know like what, like are you either like not gonna wanna keep filming with this or like are you down to keep filming with this? I've definitely had like my frustrations towards my tia because I'm progressing and then she's just like, like we're not at the same level anymore. Well, I mean, I started with you guys, so it's not like I'm gonna be like, oh, I quit. But as far as like filming as much as I, I used to with you guys, like every single time we filmed, mm -hmm. I was always there. I don't, I can't commit to that right now because I have other things mm -hmm. I wanna do, you know? Like I have a life outside of yeah. growing up Eileen. And this is your life. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing that you kind of been a little bit distant, little but I feel like you just needed to tell me like that you have basically your life going on. In a way, it's just like, oh, okay, well, why couldn't you just say that? Like, why couldn't you just say that from the beginning? Like, why do you have to like wait? And why do you feel like you can't talk to us? I don't want to tell you, yeah, I'm committed 100% mm -hmm. to it. Because, like I said, I have other things that I want to do in life. Like I, you know, want to focus on myself and my health and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Because, you know, every night I've been talking about having a baby and I want to have a baby. And I want to give Zeke and a little a sibling and like, yeah, and just like focus on that and not be like stressed out about having to film or like yeah. disappointing you, like saying like, I can't, like I can't do this thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want to give it the best I can when I can, not like, I don't want you to think like, oh, she's just being a bitch and she just doesn't want to do it. Like, no, of course not. But it's just, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be 100% committed to it because I have to commit to my life and my family, you know? You're right. And I, and I support you. You know I support you. And I, if you said like, oh, I don't want to film at all, like, I wouldn't even be mad. Like. Everybody, you know, has their own path in life. She says she wants to start a family, and like, I'm really happy her, for her because I feel like that's her destiny right now. We've made like some of the best memories while filming and stuff, and like, of course, I want you to be there, like, with us, you know? Yeah. And just to keep like making more memories and keep growing with each other and like, you know, just doing fun things. I just want you there with us. My priority right now is just to focus on starting my family you know like That's so cute. <laughs> yeah cause I, that is so cute yeah. yeah i'll always be there for you regardless you know i support you and everything i understand i'm not gonna be mad but i just think it was necessary for us to have like this talk you know yeah i'm just gonna worried about what your mom's gonna say about that because i know me too dude. i feel like she's just That's gonna I feel like she's just gonna like she's not gonna understand she's not gonna understand she's just gonna like make up things or just tell me or, like i feel like i'm gonna be judged and part of the reason i don't want to tell your mom is just how she's been acting towards me like she just feels like i'm not mm -hmm. doing my part and it's like girl you don't even know yeah. why because you don't ask me you just like assume you know what i mean so that's why i don't want to tell her you definitely deserve to have your family like your own family and like that's why I've been feeling like stepping back a little bit and just kind of like being all there because I'm trying to focus on me. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's part of my family. So at the end of the day, I'm going to support her. If we talk, I'm going to be there to back you up mm -hmm. so she can understand. Because I, sometimes I feel like she needs to like hear like two, two, point, yeah, yeah, two, point, two of point of views to understand like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. so. I'll help you. I love you. I love you too. And thank you yeah. for listening to me and always, of course, talking to me. I hope my mom supports her in the end. But yeah, I think you just need to give it a little bit. We are a little bit hungover from last night. So I don't think this boat ride is a good idea because when you're a little bit hungover and you're in the middle of the ocean going back and forth, that's not good news. <laughs> so I usually check my DMs every day in the morning. This one was definitely a little bit different. This random girl sent me a screenshot, multiple screenshots of a conversation between her and my ex. And my ex was saying things that were personal that I really thought that would never be exposed in a way because I trusted him. 
at the moment is what you guys can't attack Eileen and tell her like, oh, wait, let's tell her. No, you can't. No, no, no. What you guys are saying is like, oh, you guys should have never done this. We're ruined. No. Like, you never should have taken this okay, to Hawaii. No. At the moment. Okay, if I, just listen. When you were in a. If I would have knew he was going to be like this, then I would have. Him him. Him. No, that. because you literally just said, oh, you took him to Hawaii, Britta, you we're don't know. Yeah. At the okay, moment, you two relax, but at I the mean, moment, no. this it's what it was her relationship and what she started. But you guys are like, oh, I never liked him. I never, okay, I get it. Well, but just remember that. that at the moment, that was Eileen's relationship and that's what I protected from her. Like when you guys would tell me stuff, I'm saying, I know, but you need just to know that this is her decision. I, I just feel like the most upsetting part of this whole situation is the fact that you build trust with someone for almost two years. You genuinely think this person cares about you. And even if you guys are broken up, you still leave on a note where you respect each other. He just doesn't trust me. And I told him that he needs to give me some space and he got upset. He broke up with me like nothing. And obviously like he was like, oh boy, I still love you, blah, blah. And to hear all this like shit talking towards you, it's just like, so were you not being genuine in the relationship? Or were it was it just a lie? Or what was it? But why are you getting mad at us? Because like, you guys are like, you guys need to put yourself in her shoes yeah, right now at the moment. We're telling her that we don't like him. We never why do you like think we're him. Upset? Because because we are in her no, no. I, I, what am I saying? Nothing. I'm just staying quiet because I'm taking no, it all in and I'm quiet. Yes, I am. Right now, until I'm hearing you guys. her hurt like this, it doesn't hurt me. Don't you think that I want to get up and call him or his mom or somebody saying, hey, shut the up? But we have to do it the way I, like way we're telling her. Write him a text and tell him you better back up. That's why we wrote him a text. Eileen, tell me that you want to start a family, that you want to focus on your, on your new life. It's just like hard for me to say this. For more quince content, make sure to check out Awesomeness TV's new quinceanera channel. Click here to watch my new season.